Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Noelle Monroe and I am a second grade teacher. Um, this video is going to look a little bit different because I recently found out that I'm going to be teaching virtually this year. Of course, I feel like a lot of us right now during this time are getting very good at just rolling with the punches, so to speak, with all of the change happening in our world. So that means for a lot of teachers having to adjust to a new schedule and to teaching from home. So with that being said, I would love to bring you along and show you how I'm going to set up my classroom in my bedroom at home. All right, so I went through all of my school supplies that I bought for the school year in my classroom and I took out the stuff that I could possibly use for teaching virtually. So the first thing is this really cute sign. I thought maybe I could put it in the background of some of my lessons for the first day of school. And then these dry erase activity sheets, I think these organizers will be great for videos to use in for teaching virtually so I grabbed that and then just for storage over since I'm not gonna have my desk near me I'm gonna put some stuff in here just to keep my station organized so I grabbed that and then I'm really glad that I ended up buying this little pointer because I know this will come in handy for sure and then as far as my personal desk supply or office supplies, um, I grabbed out just some planner stickers, my binder clips, and then scissors, white out, and then I'll probably end up using this on my desk. And I eventually want to get a whiteboard. And when I do, I'll be able to put my markers and erasers in here and hopefully it will stick to that and then I also have these little buckets um, I might be putting some pens and pencils in them and I'm not sure what I'm gonna use these for yet but we'll see if I need them I grabbed my books that I bought and then last they had these little dry erase pockets at Target for a dollar so I grabbed three of these and I think I'm gonna use them for my display for the backdrop of my wall area. So I will get back to you and see which supplies I actually use for the background. I am back from Hobby Lobby and I just wanted to sort of show you um, or do a little haul and show you the things that I got because I realized I was lacking in some items because I'm utilizing this wall space right here and I really needed some things that I was missing. So um, I grabbed just some plain poster board and I wanted to go with this light blue color. Um, it actually is a little bit darker in person. You just can't tell because the lighting isn't the best. And I'm gonna try to put it up on the wall, but I grabbed two just in case I needed both of them. And then I got this border. It's just a plain black border to go around it, to frame it. And then I got these um, command wall hooks because I'm definitely gonna be hanging those dry erase boards on it. And then I also found this really cute pack of mini bulletin board like little sticker things and I thought it was perfect because they're miniature ones so they won't take up too much space and they have really cute little quotes on them so I'll possibly use that for the background and I also needed some lettering I really liked this font right here um, it's just letter stickers and so I got a whole pack of those and I'm gonna spell out something I'm not sure quite I'm not quite sure yet what I want to do and then lastly I got these battery operated LED lights but they're actually little clips so I don't really know if these are what I was looking for but I kind of am envisioning them going around the whole entire display so I will update you after I get this all set up and show you the finished product 
So I sort of came up with another idea that I wanted to try out. I ended up getting this basket right here from Five and Below. And I sort of want to stock it full of items that I think I'll be able to use while I'm teaching virtually. So um, my blue light glasses, just simple supplies and tools that I think I might use, like little notebooks, my sticky, um, sticky pads, and also some pencils that I'm going to fill into these two buckets. So I'm just going to load it up and see how it turns out. So like I said, this right here is the space I'm going to be using. It just has this little rug here. And actually what used to be here was my bearded dragon's cage. And all I did was I just scooted it over this way. And this used to be our classroom pet, um, Camilla the bearded dragon. Um, so I brought her home and then I also ended up bringing my classroom plants home. So that's what that is. And then I'm going to store my little teacher supply basket right here so that when I am teaching I can have easy access to it and Camilla's cage brings the perfect little storage area for my supplies. So that's what it's looking like so far. Alright, so here is how my bulletin board is looking so far, and I went ahead and took the inserts that came in these file pocket folder things out, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put maybe math and reading, and I'm thinking about putting learning targets in here, or what we're learning for that week, or just really whatever we're focusing on for that week so that I can replace those and take them out at the end of each week. So then this is what it looks like. I'm really excited about this space and I'm sure I will add more details as I go and figure out what exactly I'm looking for. And then I also wanted to show you over here, I have this, um, this is actually the side of my bearded dragon's cage. And what I actually did is I added this chalkboard sticker paper. So I've already been doodling and it's kind of a mess right now, but I can actually use this as a chalkboard, which is really neat. And it is right next to my whiteboard. And then I also added this magnetic little um, marker and eraser holder, and I have a bunch of magnets in here as well. So this is what it looks like, and I'm really happy with it. I know it's not perfect, but it just gives me a space to work with, and I love it. Thank you all so much for watching. I had a lot of fun creating my own special little space for teaching. And for those of you teaching virtually this year, maybe it'll inspire you to create your own space. Thanks again. Mm -hmm.